Hello, everybody. In this episode, I'm going to be covering how to do audio transitions. The last episode, I covered video transitions, and this one is on audio transitions. And audio transitions are very similar to video transitions in the way that you in the way that you drop them onto the clip. I've got a cross dissolve right here, which is a video transition. So we play through this. With one of the two. Most likely sulfur. And you notice when it hits the edit point right here, the audio suddenly switches because it goes from one clip to the next and you hear that audio edit. And audio transition will, can be used to help kind of smooth those out, uh, those transitions out. So I'm going to move up, get my double arrow here and go over to effects and show my effects tab. Another the effects tab, I have uh, video effects and audio effects. Uh, video transitions, which we've covered in here, are our audio transitions. If you arrow this down, audio transitions basically is basically comprised of uh, three of, of three transitions here. You have a constant gain, constant power, and exponential fade. And you'll notice that the default transition here is uh, highlighted by this little uh, square going around it there, uh, is constant power. This is the one that's kind of re recommended for doing a smooth transition uh, between your audio clips. Uh, basically, what the constant, the way the constant gain works, constant gain crossfade changes audio basically at a constant rate uh, in and out as it transitions between clips. Uh, then that crossfade can sometimes sound a little bit abrupt, so it's not, it's not commonly used. Uh, constant power one, and if you were to look at that on a graph, it would basically look like this. It would uh, Your audio is moving along, and suddenly when it hits, it would start turning down the left clip while it starts turning up the right clip, as opposed to constant power, which basically does this. You see it on a little bit more of a curve like this, where it does this gradual transition and smooths it out on, on the transition coming into the audio. Gradually fades that out, one out and gradually fades the clip to the left out like this and on a curve, and then gradually fades this one up. And that is basically the co constant gain. The ex exponential fade is kind of similar to constant power. Exponential fade fades out the first clip over a smooth logarithmic curve, while fading up the second clip also over a, over a similar logarithmic curve. And keep in mind that though the exponential fade transition is similar to the constant power transition, uh, the exponential fade transition is more gradual. So with that be being said, let's go ahead and show you how to apply a an audio transition. First of all, it's good to land on your edits. I'm going to use my arrow my arrow up to land on my edit to the left, and arrow down will land on the edit to the right. There's an arrow up here, I land on this edit, and I want to apply a transition. I can do one of, one of two ways here. I can grab my constant power, drag it over, and drop it onto this clip. And now, very similar to the, the video transition, I can grab this and drag it out to extend it, and it will allow me to extend it as long as I have handles on either clip. But now I'm going to delete that, and I'll show you an easier way to do that. Uh, Control D is what you use, or Command D is what you use to add a video transition. If you hold down Control Shift D, it'll add a, it'll add the default audio transition, which is my constant power. So now, if I go to the end of this and I grab it and I drag this out, it will extend it. If I drag it to the inside, it will shrink it. You can also double click on this transition and it opens up a window and you can type in a duration. If I type in two period, it will be two seconds long. Hit enter and it makes it two seconds long. If I double click and do four period, the period is a placeholder for the frames and hit okay, it'll be four seconds long. Now let's listen to that. Or, or sulfur, one of the two. Most likely sulfur. I don't know. <laughs> And we have a nice smooth transition from clip to clip, and we can't hear the audio uh, do the edit when it hits this point. And of course, if you're hearing audio bleed over into this part that you don't want, you can simply grab this and, ex and drag it to the left, or vice versa, drag it to the right if you're trying to eliminate unwanted audio over here, and then you can shrink this as well. Or we can shrink it and then move it over, and then it will do a, a smaller fade. So let's, I'm going to drag it over this way to get rid of that excess audio that was over here. Let's listen to this. Over one of the two. And that sounded like a really good, nice transition there. So that's the basics of doing audio transitions. It's pretty simple. You've got three basic transitions to choose from, and the most common is constant power. If you have any questions, please post them, and thanks for watching.